Well, there's this rivalry and actually the millennials are very much like the boomers. Remember the boomers came up many in the sixties and they were very much concerned about the earth and, and loving one another and everything. And the millennials are very mission driven as well. So they're not foreign aliens. I mean, they're just different <laughs> from us. They're, and, and so we should be able to find that common ground. We just don't always make the effort to do that. And so sometimes when you're dealing with a millennial, you may catch yourself saying something like, oh, my granddaughter's your age, or I've got a son your age. That doesn't go over real well because it sounds like you're trying to say, I'm so much further behind, beyond you. And they don't like to be lectured, even if you know more. And even if you've got something that they want to know, you can't start telling them like you're the one who knows it and they're not the ones that, and they don't, they hate that. They hate it. And so it's on us to find better ways to communicate. And we have to remember these kids, many came up in the time when member of the parents said, we got, I only talked to him or her like an adult and everybody gets a trophy. And that this is what the result was. The boomers raised them, this is the result. So we have to figure out how they communicate and when we're going to work with them, we have to earn that privilege. It's not their honor to work with us. We have to see it as the privilege of working with them. And they're looking for people who will collaborate with them. Millennials love to collaborate. So if you can show that you are going to work with them instead of talking over them, then you've got a shot here. So you have to show you're going to be a team player, that you're not seeking any sort of elevation because you've been there and done that because it gets you nothing. And then once you start having those relationships, you can ask them to explain certain technologies to you. And then they'll get comfortable asking you how you lead people through different situations because that's going to be your strength. But you have to understand, you got to respect them more than they're going to respect you in the start because that's something we all created.